from the outset, we've believed that this can be contained. Um, I, I've often heard of uh, experts in the US, for example, say that containment is futile, and, and it's just wrong. Uh, this disease can be contained and it has to be contained. And we don't do anything particularly special. We just do all the typical outbreak response interventions uh, thoroughly. Well, we know you are also part of the joint mission to China with the World Health Organization, so you've observed there as well as working in Singapore. As you're watching the United States and other countries uh, not work on containment as much, what are the key things you think this country should be doing? I think the lesson from China is that no matter how bad it gets, it can still be contained. Uh, Wuhan, even when it was at, at 40, 40 50,000 patients, it ended up with more, uh, realised that this could be contained, and they contained it. Now, they had to do a lockdown, of course, because it, it was out of control, as it is in, in other parts of, of Europe and so on. But, but they didn't stop. They didn't stop wanting to contain it. They isolated their cases. They had massive testing, and, and, and they did contact tracing. They had, they had 9,000 people doing contact tracing to find the cases so they could be tested, isolated if they were positive, quarantined if they were negative, and, and, and they brought it down. They're, they've got zero cases now. They're reopening, and, 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 and they're ready to, to, to go around again because now they're prepared. Obviously, they weren't prepared at the beginning because they were ground zero, mm. but, uh, but they've ramped up and they're ready. Well, when you observe the testing situation in the United States, do you think it's even possible for this country to do those kinds of uh, tracing and isolation when we don't even know everybody who has the virus here? Uh, again, China didn't know everyone that had the virus. When Korea was having 900 cases a day, they, they didn't have every, every, every... They didn't know who everyone was. It's just... You just have to get in and do it. And... You know, I, I think most of the world is quite shocked at what's happening in America because you're America. If uh, it's it's quite hard to understand why, with American power and strength and ingenuity, it, it's just like you're going to let the tidal wave hit you and 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 the devastation that goes with it. It's really quite um, surprising to to the outside. If you have one takeaway message for folks watching in the U.S. right now, uh, just go a little bit deeper into what containment means. What is the one thing this country needs to be changing about its response? I think the first thing is 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 the attitude. Uh, it, the attitude can't be one of mitigation. This this is not a word. This is a flu word. We're not using that word here. We're we're, we're talking about surge and we're talking about building capacity. Uh, for if we do get excess cases beyond our capacities, and, and Singapore likewise is ready for that, but but no, it's a, it's about containing, and, and containing means early ascertainment of, of your cases, uh, broad testing uh, and isolation of cases.